while a Rosemont resident defying the odds of a debilitating disease with an unexpected approach. 84 year old George Rummel has dementia, but finds comfort and strength through a unique hobby, puzzling. So much so, his new activity is getting him international recognition. CBS 13's Brady Howbly brings us his story and what he and his family hope to share with the world. Is this an edge? George Rummel has an eye for detail. Anything with a straight edge. edge. Okay, two, three, four. It was that skill that took him around the world working as an engineer constructing hydroelectric plants. Okay, so. That's how I do it. Okay, so this but is. But that doesn't mean that's how you need to do it. He retired from SMUD in 2006, and several years later, early signs of dementia started. The progression of the disease led him to feel often confused, scared, and sometimes angry. So it just helps him just calm down. Beth Winnett, a family friend, says his doctor suggested he try a low stress activity requiring concentration, and that's where his love for puzzling begins. It, it sort of like gives his, his brain an opportunity to go into one direction. Being an excellent note taker as a former engineer, George wrote notes on one of his first puzzle sets as a strategy to assemble them more efficiently, but it ended in catastrophe, ultimately ruining the puzzle. George's daughter took to social media describing the incident, and it caught the attention of UK-based company Wentworth Puzzles. Touched by his story, not only did the company send him dozens of new puzzles, they also named him Wentworth Puzzle Ambassador. Uh, it might be one of the quarters. Someone who helps uh, share the joy of jigsaw puzzles with the world. Because of his dementia and how puzzles help people with their dementia. Nearly 7 million Americans aged 65 and older are living with Alzheimer's or related dementia, according to the Alzheimer's Association. Puzzles and brain games are a wonderful way to engage your brain in new and different ways. Dr. Elizabeth Edgerly is with the Alzheimer's Association. She says puzzling is one of 10 ways to keep your brain sharp. And for George's case, a great coping skill. If you're a singer, you learn a new song and read music, or if you love puzzles, you do puzzles. It's all part of how to keep our brains healthy for our whole lives. Dr. Edgerly also notes social engagement around an activity like puzzling oh, is even better, something way. George is already one step ahead of. You think it's easier just to hide them, but they really need to get out and um, be part of society. And a reminder, if someone in your family is struggling with dementia, we'll have some helpful links for how to cope and manage the disease on our website, cbs13.com.